What's going on, people? We randomly got our Lords of the Fallen. I'm late as fuck on this, though. This shit has been out for, I think, two days. And I've been trying to keep track of all the games that's coming out. Holy shit, man, what the fuck? Okay, so Lords of the Fallen got an overview trailer, which is eight minutes long. It's not much of a trailer. Recently, right now, I'm playing Liza P, which to me is the best Souls-like game to ever exist, period. I don't think anything is gonna top this. I think Lords of the Fallen, I think it's gonna be good. I hope it's gonna be good. But I don't think it's gonna touch where Liza P is touching. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think it is. Pause. But it's still gonna be a good game. So, man, currently I'm playing fucking, um, there are, uh, there's a lot of games. October is literally, October is in, a, is in two days. I haven't even finished Phantom Liberty. Bro, I'm playing, I'm playing Mortal Kombat. I'm playing Liza P, I still haven't finished that yet. I'm playing Phantom Liberty, and I'm playing the DLC to Resident Evil. What the fuck? Bro, there's too much shit out right now, man. For I gotta finish this. I have to finish Liza P before this comes out in October. So I gotta I gotta get on that shit. And I'm gonna make a video about Liza P too on what makes it good, what makes it, you know, bad, and what makes it not perfect. But it's the best souls like that you're gonna get at this moment. I'm gonna make a video on that too. But for right now, I wanna check out this Lords of the Fallen overview trailer to um to see what they talking about because man if this is another banger i can't take it i really can't i want it to be a banger trust me but there's too much shit at the same time there's so much fucking shit i'm not gonna be finished with all the stuff i got or get it out my system until probably after october there's a there's so much shit going on with gaming right now it's a good time let's check this out Lords of the Fallen is the all- I will give it this, I love the world. The world, for me, of course, you know, dark fantasy setting is automatically gonna be a bump up for me. So, I like the world itself. I just, you know, for me personally right now, it's gonna have to show me something more that's gonna get, that's gonna beat Liza P right now. I probably had to, just have to get it in my hands. Lords of the Fallen is the all this new is crazy. epic dark fantasy action RPG. A lot of designs. Set 1,000 years after the events of the original game, and the game is prepare gorgeous. to embark upon a perilous adventure through the vast lands of Mornstead, a prominent wow. region within this sprawling world, on the brink of demonic desolation. Bro, look at the designs of these creatures, man. Stretching across its sky-scorched horizon fucks. lies the colossal hand of a deer. Overlooked by the five holy beacons of the Sentinels. Look at the environments, dog. This originally This game is undeniably beautiful. Hold up a second. Let me go back. Let me go back to that, man. This game is undeniably beautiful. Look at this. Originally constructed to restrain the fallen god. They have been defiled by his infernal forces and now threaten to abet his resurrection. Look at the map design, dog. Now, this is going to be the key factor of this game. I think this is going to be the one that makes it different from everything As else. As if fate itself intervened. It's like you go in two worlds. An ancient and all powerful lamp has recently found itself a new bearer. Me. You. Delivering your mortal coil from the cold embrace of death and into the ranks of the Dark Crusaders. The radiance of Mornstead. I love his voice. Us. He's in a lot of games, too. Entrusted with the holiest of charges, you must restore radiance to these five beacons and thwart a deer's uprising. What the but in a fuck? land overrun by demons, when the very fabric between worlds is splitting, this is no easy feat. I wonder how hard this game is going to be, too. They said it was punishing. I don't know how punishing. The lives of people is hard. It's getting hard, but it's doable. Your quest will take you on a long and harrowing journey through the disparate regions of Mornstead. From forsaken fens to burning cities, cavernous mines oh, this is gonna be a to snow-capped forests, 
Each land is distinct, but equally fraught with untold horrors, this is curious crazy. companions, and myriad secrets. Wow. Consult your trusty journal to keep track of your whereabouts. Though a word to the wise, ink and parchment will provide limited solace, especially when it comes to this world's inhospitable counterpart. Oh yeah, the other side. This is gonna be interesting, the lamp, man. you see, possesses an ungodly power. The power to cross between the realm of the living, Axiom, and the realm of Umbral. With each reality harboring its own labyrinthine pathways, you'll need to navigate both worlds accordingly. It's just so funny being a Souls player. You just know which areas are going to be a bitch to go through. I just know it. Because like if any person who is a Souls fan or a creator of these type of games, they create these very specific areas, like these swamp areas to where it poisons you, or when there's environmental hazards everywhere, and it's just... Not shitty in a bad way, but the shitty in a good way to where it challenges you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you remember these areas because you're like, oh, no, not this. Fuck. Let me guess. I'm going to have to fight this dude while being poisoned at the same time or have some ailment coming over me and I just get fucked up and my health goes down. It, it, they always have an area like that in some of these Souls games, and it's just classic. Axiom presents its own unique challenges, but terrors beyond comprehension await in the nightmarish equivalent. Now, you know that's gonna be a trap. That's crazy. Another scene. This game looks gorgeous. Those who embark upon this crusade must also confront the formidable champions that inhabit such realms. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. Millennia? These fierce <laughs> adversaries will not respond kindly to your interruption of their twisted endeavors. Ugh. You no, that's Millennia. Welcome here. They will test the swiftest swordsmanship and the most adept spellcasters. Their animations got so it better. Come with great relief to learn that the Umbral Lamp possesses yet further powers. For should you fall in Axiom, Bro, you, knew that was you will rise once more in Umbral. You now have one final chance to overcome your adversaries. Ooh. So like secular on that. But the longer you spend in this forsaken hellscape, the greater number of spectral horrors that will hunt you down. They showing a lot. Should two lives still prove inadequate, help is at hand for those whose pride permits. So we can summon people. Mornstead is home to a number of would-be comrades. Some will demand an errand performed before proffering a second sword while others thirst heavier for the blood of Rogar. Okay. So different quest to As get for those who wish to look outside of Mornstead for a co-op companion, you can invite a second player to join your journey at any vestige. Now that's the one thing I did which Liza P had because that will create a lot of replayability. If you're gonna do a Souls game, there's three main factors that you're gonna have to have. You're gonna have to have difficulty, of course. You're gonna have to have good world building and you're gonna have to have um, a sense of community. Because the one thing that drew me into the Souls games to begin with is the fact that the community in the Souls community is the least toxic community that I've ever been a part of in my entire life. And that's the reason why I love the community so much because these games are so hard, we don't have time to troll each other because we're all trying to get through this path together. And the notes that they leave on the ground for you to let you know, hey, there's an enemy around the corner, be careful, stuff like that. It's that sense for me that's a missing piece in Liza P. And I kind of hope it's the same thing in here. It's a staple to me. I think that has to be in these type of games. That brings back the sense of community. And that's what makes me want to keep jumping back into Elder Ring and, you know, helping people defeat bosses and stuff like that that they can't beat. I would jump in and do co-op for probably like a day or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep on helping people out, defeating bosses. It gives you a sense of giving back from a challenge that you already overcame. I, I love that part about the community, though. They will remain at your side for as long as you or they choose. That's cool. That's going to bring Before a lot more you replayability. Your adventure, choose from nine starting classes. Nice. Wield sword and shield as the hollowed knight. Wreak fire based carnage as the pirate cultist. Strike fear from afar 
as the Black Feather Ranger, or pick from one of the other prospective heroes. While these are initially all varied in moveset and equipment, look at this, dog. The animations got better. Your character, however you see fit, with additional starting classes, unlockable based on the choices you make in this world. I ain't gonna lie, when I'm gonna be as a pyromancer, that's Fully dope as customize fuck. your character from the dozens of armor sets and hundreds of weapons hidden throughout these vast lands. I'm so. If you give me fashion souls, it's in. Hands. Not to mention an extensive range of equipment, including javelins, bombs, weapon salts, the variety, protection wards, and more. Now this As is for a soul that soul forego oh metal for magic. There are three schools of sorcery to master. Radiance, Bro, these, these souls likes are out of Rogar, control. And Umbra, each comprising a sweeping spectrum of spells, from character buffs to arena-wide downpours of annihilation. God, these souls likes are out of control. An epic adventure full of peril, wonder, awe, and crazy. revelation coursing through the very realms of the living and dead awaits. This is crazy. Awaken, Lamp Bearer, and set forth onto Mornstead, an expansive kingdom of shadow and chaos in the darkest of crusades oh, to destroy dark. a demon god. In light, we walk. They needed to show this preview. This preview was perfect. October 13th. That's going to be around the corner before you know it, man. Hold up. That's like in how many fucking weeks? Okay, so what do I think about this? This needed to come out. This did, because at first I was a little on the fence about this game. I already knew it was going to, I was going to get it regardless because I got to play every Souls, like that's just me. But um, I I was unsure whether it was going to be up there with the enjoyment that I'm getting, like, I'm, like how I'm getting from Liza P. I didn't think it was going to be on that level. I think that this is going to surpass the replay value of Liza P. Both games got certain formulas in it that I like from different Souls games. Liza P got the world, the weapons, and the crazy creatures from Bloodborne, and it gives me that vibe. This game reminds me of a lot of, of course, the Dark Souls, and um, I think a little bit of Elden Ring. It got that all mixed into one. So you're getting two different types of Souls genres when it comes to these titles and stuff. Both of them are fantastic, but I think the Lords of the Fallen is gonna have more replay value than Liza P does. Strictly because it's missing that one element of community in the world building itself. Any Souls player would know what I'm talking about when it comes to this type of stuff. But this looks good as shit. October 13th. Holy fuck. Pre-order now. I sure will. I gotta finish Liza P. I have to finish that. I gotta finish that soon. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, man. If you guys are excited for the, all, all these Souls games coming out, these games are getting out of control. There's too much. I don't know what's going on right now. And they're all good. Chill out a little bit. Take the foot off the pedal. Shit. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.